Okay, I want to make this as quick and simple as possible. The only thing you need are a knife, fork, and a spoon, and some of these reusable plastic tubs. Uh, I got these for $2.29 for three of them, $2.29 plus tax. So they're less than a dollar a piece. You can get them at any store. Walmart has them. Uh, any mid sized store will. The only thing you have to do is poke holes in the bottom of it. My uh, instrument of choice was a fork. You ain't wasting time to drill it. The amount of holes you poke in the bottom, though, it's up to you. If you're using real small seeds like uh, alfalfa or something, you might even want to, you know, poke smaller holes, maybe you put a screen on it. Much self explanatory. You need to get a, you need about nine of these tubs to make your own system, at least so you can try it, see what the fodder tastes like, or if your animals like it, what type grows best. You know, when you have these little tubs like this, you have your own little micro environment, like um, a terrarium. You can control the humidity on the individual no, thanks. tubs. You can have one with 100% uh, humidity and one with ambient if you want. That gives you a lot of room for experimentation. So anyway, that'll drain through the bottom. Now, plants need a little bit of air. I haven't really figured out exactly what size hole I need around. I'm sure they have to get some air, though. They do get some of the water flow, and I'm just not sure if it's enough. We have an average humidity around here of about 14%, which as plants go is pretty low. So I don't really want a lot of air circulation or the moisture, or it will dry out inside of the tub. probably better ways to put a hole in there but I wanted to do it without having to find any tools not even a screwdriver now the top I pre-cut almost all the way because it's hard to hold a camera in one hand and saw a plastic lid with the other so I cut all the way around this with this knife except for the last part of it which I'm going to cut right now obviously <laughs> Anyway, you cut all the way around there, so you have a hole in the top of it. Now, don't do this to all of your containers. Watch this first. Some of them you don't cut holes in. If you just cut holes in all of them, you're going to have a problem at the end. Okay, now this one doesn't have holes in it. This is the bottom one. This is a non-automated system. This is just like if you want to try the fodder yourself. Now this one does, and the ones on top do. I've had these stacked eight high, but I'm not going to do that here because um, I don't have room. No, that one doesn't have water in it. The, the holes at the bottom doesn't have holes in it. And as you can see, the water itself. The advantage to this is you don't have to water every single tub every day you know instead of doing this eight times you just pour it in the top it trickles through it aerates itself the roots drink what they want you have to do this at least two times a day i'd do it three or four if i could especially in a environment with low humidity so all you got to do to pour through again is change the lids from the empty one with no holes to the full one with no holes And that's all you got to do to water it. Stack it eight high, stack it whatever. Even with the fodder seeds and everything, and it's still not that heavy. 
So there's your watering. You, you need to throw away the water once a day. The water gets real nasty after three or four times of going through there. You know, that's what seeds in, of course. Now, here's the little bit of a more automated system I have here. This has a pump in the bottom, uh, a koi pond pump. It was 14 bucks, brand new. And I have a timer on the wall there that comes on eight times a day for half an hour each time. It was 13 bucks. The hose is 50 cents a foot. Um, the container on the bottom I got at a dollar store for seven bucks. So you're still not talking about much money even for an automated system. There's a little design flaw I have here. The center tubs don't get quite as much water as the outside ones do. I think that's because of you have a Venturi effect across the top of the second T that actually tries to suck water. But I'm going to cure that with a uh, PVC manifold probably next week. But it doesn't matter. They grow anyway. The roots don't clog the bottom of the things up. These things, I've been growing these for like months already. No, not months. A month about already. They don't ever clog up. They work. Now this is a uh, this is full scale here. The seeds stay in a, another container for one day soaking in water, and then you put them in here for an eight day system. So theoretically, you're gonna have one, you're gonna have three tub fulls of fodder every day on a continuous cycle. And you know, what are the tubs, man? 15 bucks if you wanna try it yourself. It's cut my animal feed costs by 50% by making these. It feeds 12 ducks and 50 quail. Uh, about half of what they eat is this. And this is the bag I got. That's wheat. It was, I think it was 13 bucks for 50 pounds of it. Uh, I calculated that it would take, that would be enough for 50 days for the animals that I got. Now this is used as a supplement.